this video I want to show you the CR scan lizard. It is provided to me by Creality. The software for scanning is on the included USB stick and you find it also on the Creality webpage. There are two possibilities for scanning. One time the table scan, which you can see here, and also a hand scan for bigger items. The idea is that you do separate scans from all sides and align them into the program to get a solid item. Here you can see the wheel scans aligned and afterwards this can be processed and saved as STL for printing. The program is super easy to use and there are just some steps necessary to get from your scan to the printable STL. For an optimal scan result it's super important to prepare the surface and make it flat, especially when the surfaces are shiny or black. This scan spray helps a lot. It's a kind of sprayable chalk. My next scan test object was this fan blade. On the first step, to initialize, we have to remove it for a moment. Press the button and here we can see the rotating turntable and also the distance is correct. It's in the center area and this is how the cam looks. This is okay. Now I press stop and make it ready for scan. So put the fan, start scan. And now it will rotate 360 degree and it stop automatically. And that is our first scan. And do the next scan. And let's go. Next I wanna scan this styrofoam jet. It's a 40 mm EDF jet. And this canopy is uh, too shiny. So we have to make it a bit mud. <laughs> Here we got our flattening spray, 3D scan spray. It's like chalk, it's a very thin white film. Here you can see it on the canopy, like a little like sn little snowflakes. The jet was too big for the table scan mode, so I did a hand scan. And on this you hold the scanner in your hand and go around the jet. Meanwhile I was also downloading the latest version of the scan program from the Creality website. That's why it looks a bit different to the first scans. And the new scan started. To simplify the scan process I was putting it on a rotating table using a wise and also a transparent rod. Some attempts were necessary to keep the correct distance and follow the rotating jack, especially the changing from fuselage to wing was not easy, but at the end it works super nice. For a complex scan object like this little jet, it makes sense to divide the whole part in a front section, a mid section and a tail section and afterwards they can be aligned by using the program tools. Even if this scan doesn't look perfect, after the processing it become a super result. The only thing is not moving the scanner too fast, otherwise there could be a default message and you have to start again. But there is no stress, you can take your time and do as many scans as you want. You can see them on the right side and afterwards you can check them if they are usable and if not delete them and do a second one. <laughs> Now the program is rebuilding everything because at the moment it looks a bit strange. And here we got the last scan rebuilt, looks much better. And here on the side there are all the scans we did till this moment. Now we take a look on the last. And now we can start to align. This means we combine two of the scans and take a look if we got a complete jet out of it. Now we got two scans and by pressing Alt and holding the scroll wheel on your mouse you can move them separately, without it they move together and now we can align them. Now he's doing this automatically and let's see how it fits. Now both scans are aligned and this looks good. So we can add the next one. Here is more tail. You see on our first there is much of the tails missing. Uh, we press Alt again. Especially on bigger parts it wouldn't be possible to scan them at once. So you scan them separately and later on you align them and then you get the complete model.
and it fits looks much better now nearly complete we got yeah, here's something missing on the wing and also here is a lot of black i will do one scan more especially here from the wing here is too much missing this we need and then we can go to process so now i did some more scans let's take a look at them this one is always from the lower side from the fuselage this is really cool that you can do as much scans as you want and if something is not so good then add a new one now we want just add this and go to a line and let him work here we can see all the scans the upper ones till seven are already aligned and now the eight is aligning too and we have uh, five scans left now all scans are aligned yeah i put them in step by step the jet comes more and more detailed out of it and we can do a first process and here we got the ready processed jet looks not that bad the surface is really nice but there are some mistakes especially on the wings where the scan was not perfect and the lower side yes this is original because here were some holes inside and here we can see rest of the servo horns they have to be removed now on the scanner software the jet was saved as STL and imported to mesh mixer and here are a lot of tools to optimize the surface and remove some obstacles. Mesh mixer is super easy to use and you can download it for free. Here in mesh mixer we can smooth up the surface. You can see I have a big brush and do a robust smoothing so the styrofoam surface got more flat and even. Some small more work is to be done but then it can go to print. Here we got a jet and cure. This is one to one size that's quite big. So we will it small a bit down about um, well, let's say 70% like this. And then we choose the Minga Magician X that it should fit on. Yes. And then let's go print it. And our jet is ready for printing. Here it is on the Minga Magician with about 80% size, two outer walls, three top and lower layers. Uh, printed with lightweight PLA, 7% gyroid infill. This is how it looks like from inside. So we can see it is super clean, no problems inside. So let's go printing. Here they are, the scanned one, 90% size, looks exactly the same and I'm super happy with the, with the surface. The application is quite perfect and from this we will remove now the white dust. I'm using some paper cloth and water and then it can easily be removed. Let's come to a conclusion. I'm super happy with this print result. I was doing this 3D scan for the first time. I was uh, do some training for two days on the smaller parts till I start scanning the jet because this is what I'm really interested in. If it is possible to scan some bigger items, especially jet <laughs> like I'm building here and this become possible. And this is the cool thing that it is not too complicated to scan it because even when there is something not perfect, you can do a second scan and the third scan and scan details and the automatic aligning works really good there's also a manual one which also works but when you got enough overlapping from this part to this part the automatic aligning works super well and, and so you can build up your scan step by step and this is the really cool thing what I was doing here on the small jet, this is not the best surface it got, but it was the only jet in the size I got here. And nevertheless, with some editing in Mesh Mixer, which is a free program, I can show you here, you can easily download this as a freeware. And with some training, it's also easy to use. You got wonderful results. And when you got a better original model, 
when, when this would have better quality, then you even do not need mesh mixer. Then you can go immediately to, for instance, Cura and print your scan. So I would say thumbs up. This is really cool. You need some training. It needs some time. And I also recommend you this 3D scan spray. Important is that the surface of your item, what you like to scan is not shiny. It should be flat. That's really important and not too dark. So um, especially when there are some transparent parts like the canopy on the jet, this has to be sprayed with the 3D scan spray and the rest also. This helps a lot to improve your results. And then when you got some of these transparent polyamide parts, they won't be scanned. So you don't have to re remove something afterwards. At first I was putting the jet just on this wooden block, but you can see it here. <laughs> this was scanned together with the jet, so there is a lot more work afterwards. A mesh mixer. As better is your scan, as less work you have to do afterwards. Yeah, so, and this is really handy. You can easily go around. You keep your distance and have an eye on your light. The light should come from all over, that there are not too much shadows and then there is there won't be any problems and you will get really good scan results also this turntable is uh, strong enough to rotate with this heavy metal wise here so just be creative put your item on something transparent and start scanning have fun with it all links to the scanner you will find in the video description and i would say see you in the next video bye bye